This is James at Readish Motorsport. We've just got our new uh, BMW structural foam gun, pneumatic gun. So we're just going to show you a few features of that. It's not actually made by BMW, it's a uh, mix pack one, which is uh, Swiss made, which is the exact same as the um, structural foam packs from BMW, uh, which you know aren't BMW, um, but they're also mix pack containers. Mix pack pneumatic gun, um, cast alloy, built in pressure regulator, filter at the back, pressure release safety trigger so when the pack is dropped in it plunges that uh, trigger release which then allows you to uh, press the trigger uh, and a little eject helper there so that once the packs are installed you can um, that's installed and that helps it come out again um, Maximum 5 bars, 73 psi it says. Like I say, it's got a built-in regulator, no gauge with it though. Uh, so we guess in the open is uh, obviously 5 bar max. Um, just outside of the shot of the picture, we've got our um, bath of water, about 60 degrees. So we're going to put two of our structural foams in there, just to get them going. They've been in already, but we just took them out of the video, out of the bath, just to show you on the video. Got the space heater going, it's about 18 degrees in the workshop. It's about 3 degrees outside, so we've got the workshop warm quite well. Um, ready for deploying the structural foam. We're just going to do this as testing. We like to do a lot of testing with things before we use them on cars. We want to know exactly how products work, especially when we're going to you know, promote them and obviously want to make sure that they're going to work and do their job properly. Um, so we're just going to do a little test here. We're not going to use a lot of foam because it is quite expensive as you know. So we've got three um, aerosol lids. Um, we're going to try and get an equal amount in each one, one after the other. Um, one's just going to be completely um, uh, untouched so that once, once it's set we can break it open. We can probably do a cross cut. We can we can do all sorts of things with it. One's going to be completely standard. Um, the other, another one is going to be a standard one as well, but we're going to do that. We're going to use that one for compressing. Um, so in a, in a press and various other different things. And then another one, we're going to put a um, a nut cert, an M10 nut cert. Uh, once it's uh, try to anyway, we're going to see how it goes. Once it's got some grab, we're going to try and leave the nut cert in there wind out the M10 so effectively nothing should have by that time gone internally inside the thread um, and then once that's dry we're gonna after 24 hours of curing we're gonna um, apply some torque loadings and just do a few bits of tests see what sort of uh, what sort of things happen to that um, structural foam um, we're hoping to get good results because we do firmly believe that it's a good system um, and we now added it to all of our repair procedures we believe in it so much up until now we've been using the um, the Cox or the 3M uh, a modified 3M gun for manual deployment uh, on a traditional ratchet but uh, you know it's quite time consuming if you've done it yourself you'll know what I mean so yeah we've invested not cheap but we've invested in the BMW pneumatic one um, because we're going to be doing them pretty much on a weekly basis and uh, just to get good consistency and also I don't think really we've seen many pictures of these or certainly any videos so you know we like to show things so see how they work so hence the uh, hence the video now so we're just going to make sure these um, foams have got up to temperature and then we're going to dry them off get them in and, um, and then start having a play about One other thing I forgot to show in the video as well, it's got a depth gauge on the side, which is fantastic really. Red depth gauge which moves, and when you put the um, mix pack containers in, that that obviously is uh, is correct in line with the start of the, um, the pistons in the packs. So that's very good, and there's also a 10mm marking um, all the way down the side, so you know exactly what's been what's been used. 
So we just take that off minimum. Be naughty and move the obviously that's only a slow pressure. But you can see what they um, how easy it could be to do this once they're warmed up fully compared to the compared to the um, manual trigger action ones. That's five bar. So I've tried to zoom in a bit just so you can see some of the action. Uh, don't worry, this is just a scrap bit of wood board so we can get we can spill some on here and it's not going to matter too much. Uh, that's the nozzles which come with the packs, which are um, just mixing nozzles. So they've been in now for quite a while. They should be up to uh, temperature, which is going to obviously help deploy them, um, especially with the um, pneumatic gun as well. Right, so there it is. It's all ready to go. This is the first time I'm using this as well, so you're seeing it's just as uh, we've used these before, like I say, in manual ratchet guns, but never used our new tool yet. So, so if it all explodes on me, don't laugh. I've got the pressure gauge about halfway. See, I haven't cut the nozzle, so we've obviously got quite a small, quite a small thin trail. So I'm going to open the pressure a little bit, see if we can get this out a bit quicker. See, with the BMW ones, you have a tube as well, which comes in the kit. I don't know if you can see this, which you, um, which is a flexible tube, which allows you to get into the cavity because this solid mixing tube would never go round through the through the cavity. I can quite confidently say this tool makes it effortless. Just trying to even these out, make sure there's roughly about the same in there. Okay, and we're just over halfway on the depth gauge, so that gives you an indication of volume, sort of. So I'm going to use this one, it's all open, so we might as well finish this up.
Well, I've still got that quarter left. Still got quite a bit. That's it, we're spinning. That's the compressor going, as you can imagine. So that's it, we're fully um, fully deployed, we've used the whole lot. We've retracted now because I've released the pressure. So we've got nearly, nearly the same amount. That one's got a bit more. As you know, these are very lightweight, it's nothing to them really. Um, so, like I say, what am I going to leave for general cross-cutting, general sort of cutting and messing about with, seeing internally what it's like. What am I going to use for compression, and one we're going to put a um, nutser in. So, um, I could bung this hole, but I'm thinking that I'm just going to probably put the thread in. And set it in. Try and make sure it's got good contact all round. It's pretty straight, it's got contact. There's a hex as well around the side so that'll give it good, hopefully better, better bite. Um, so yeah, we're going to leave those now for 24 hours. Um, and then we're going to come back, revisit them. Make sure they've gone off, uh, work out a way to get these cases off, and then start playing about with them.